going to show you how to wash water bottles today. You may think it has to do with the scrub brush, but it is not. This is my children's sink, so I had to clean it before I could use it. I actually filmed this video yesterday and then realized that there was toothpaste all in the sink and I tried to blur it out, but that is extremely distracting and beyond my skill set. So, I scrubbed the sink and I happen to have another dirty water bottle that I can use to demonstrate this process. We don't need very many things. We do need a dirty water bottle, some dish soap. In this case, any kind with grease cleaning is what you want. This is an off-brand from Aldi. You will not need very much dish soap, which is why I have such a small amount that I keep in my rat room. This has been not much more than this for over two years because you just use so little of it. And then the last thing you're gonna need are some of these little brushes that are made for scrubbing out reusable drinking straws. And you'll see why this one is curved in a little bit, but this is my long one. This is my straight one. First thing you're gonna do is remove the lid from your water bottle and set it aside. This one is actually brand new and I took it out because I noticed it had mold growth and mold is very dangerous for your rats. It can actually make them quite sick, just like it can with people. So if you see any sort of sludge or slime or mold, you need to take it out right away and clean the whole thing before reusing it. I recommend you do this regularly anyway, but anytime that you see that, you definitely need to do it. I have small water bottles because I find it actually makes me clean them more frequently. Whereas when I was using a very large one in some of my previous videos, I tended to just add water to it over and over again and then never clean it. So here we go. We have our water. I'm gonna turn this to warm, which is what it's set to. And we're gonna add a tiny drop of dish soap. It does not need to be very much. Just a little drop. Okay. And then we're gonna add some warm water. I have a ducky in here from a different water bottle because I thought the duck was extremely cute. So he's getting a bath too. Shake it up. All right, now we are gonna use the curvy one. This guy is curved because it fits really well along this whole top edge and along this part of the water bottle. It also will fit nicely in the base here to scrub. And you can see even if I put it all the way in, there's still enough to hold on to. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You have to turn it sideways and so scrub the whole inside of the water bottle, including the bottom. That noise is the metal on the grooves of the plastic. No big deal. Kind of sounds like a duck quacky. <laughs> That's unintentional. All right, now we're gonna turn it so you can see, and you can see that this actually fits really well. So we're gonna scrub all of that really good. And then for this part, kind of turn it sideways. We're gonna get that little bit of mildew off. We're gonna rinse that. Not put that on a brush anymore. Now you're gonna rinse until most of the bubbles come out. And you're gonna repeat this process until the whole thing has no more of these big soap bubbles. These are different than when you just have water bubbles. The water bubbles dissipate really quickly, soap bubbles stay. They specifically have serpicants in soap that makes it bubble. Because people have this concept that it needs to have bubbles in order to clean. So that's why they're there. But you don't want any of those left behind in your water bottle. All right, I'm gonna do one more rinse. My water always is foamy and white and then it clears as it sits. But hopefully you can see these bubbles that are in here are slow rising. They're not soapy, they're just water bubbles. You can see it clearing already. And 
there's no more mold or mildew, the bottle is squeaky clean. Now we're gonna move on to the other piece, which is this guy. So in my water bottles, this green piece is a seal. I don't wanna disturb that when I clean it. I'm gonna use my little short straight stick here. So we're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna flip it around. We go from this side and wiggle it around a little bit. And then I'm gonna just scrub around here. And then rinse it well. Your water bottle is now clean. There should be no debris in it, no mold buildup. It's ready to use. Thanks for watching. Bye!